it is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Oscar York, the voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word, and putting that all-important snap, crackle and pop. In your Christian walk. Today, which the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're so glad to bring you uh, this program at this time, chatting from the Word in the morning. And this is, I uh, believe, July the 28th. Uh, this is Thursday uh, that the Lord has blessed us to see he created this day just for you and for me, giving all of us a second chance, another chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. We on this side of heaven, we on top soil and not the soil on top of us, with another wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, we are. Amen. And a, amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> yes, he has. The Lord has been long to go. On this side of heaven, another wonderful, wonderful day. We all, we hope, I hope, <laughs> that you all have taken advantage of each day, each minute, each second that the Lord has given you to live for him. Amen. And a man, my friend, my friend, do you have your ears on? Are you ready? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Because here on Chatting from the Word, praising the Lord is what we do. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Amen. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Are you ready to praise him, my friend? Do you have your ears on? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? First of all, we want to welcome welcome all of our new listeners. If this is your uh, first time li listening to us uh, this morning, you are our welcome guest. But not only our welcome guest, but we want to allow you to know that we honor you this morning for having your ears on. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen, and a, a amen. Now, we say this every morning on the air, and you all need to do this. It's to get your contributions on in so that we can, you know, Keep this program going and going on to push it to the next level so that we can reach down and everywhere where the gospel needs to be reached. If you believe that the gospel is the is important to hear, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me, help us out here. What a small token of a donation. It don't have to be big. At least throw it off with five dollars. If you can give at least five dollars, that would be a beautiful, a beautiful thing. And you're wondering what to send your five dollars and up. We do have a account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is 
uh, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And you can go to Zelle, Z E L L E. And again, put in the email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And we hope that you can do it today. Do it today so that we can keep this fine program going and going. Amen. And amen. Hey, hey, what's going on? What is everybody listening to? What is everybody listening to? Well, you're listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am his host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap. Crackle and pop in your Christian world. Hey, hey! You'll see a snap crackling in your box with me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I snap crackle and pop. Is it all right? <laughs> well, Oscar, I hope it's all right so that. You can show the world Christ in you. Amen. And amen. At this time, we want to let you know when we're broadcasting this beautiful, out of sight, wonderful program from. And we are broadcasting this beautiful, out of sight program from the out of sight state of Ohio. <laughs> Ohio, and Ohio is here in the house, and that is Columbus, Miami, Earth, and Fairground. Good morning, Ohio. We are so glad that you have your ears on. And then Michigan, Michigan is up this morning, and listen to us. Good morning, Michigan, and that is in Port Michigan. Good morning to you. And then Texas, my homies in Texas. Texans are with me. And that is Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning, Houston. And then Wisconsin, Wisconsin. And this is home too. Good morning, Wisconsin. And that is my Wisconsin. Good morning, Good morning, Milwaukee. And then the great state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts and history too. Good morning, Massachusetts. And that is Fall River, Massachusetts. Good morning, Fall River, Massachusetts. And then Arizona, the great state of Arizona. Fall River too. And that is Chapter, Arizona. Good morning, Chapter. Arizona, and then the great state of Kansas, well, listen to uh, good morning, Kansas, Robert uh, Wood, Kansas, good morning, Robert Wood, Kansas, and then the great state of Indiana, I'm a caller here, Indiana, <laughs> Good morning, Indiana. That's Anderson, Indiana. Amen. Amen. Good morning to you. And if you are listening, and if we didn't call your state, country, or a city out, we want to apologize for that. But again, we want to thank you for having your ears on and to say to you, good morning. Good morning. Oh, 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 
Moving on, moving on, we're asking, moving on, moving on. Girl, Oscar just so happy this morning. I'm so happy that the Lord, that the Lord, is, it, it has given me another day. I, I don't know about you, but I am so blessed to be able to, first of all, to wake up this morning. And I'm so blessed to be able to get up this morning. And to bring you this program, Chatting from the Word. I just hope a lot of you share, share, and share the program on this wonderful, wonderful morning. And my friend, now it is time for us to take a snapshot of the program this morning. Snapshot. Allow you to know what you are in store to listen to for the next 20 to 30 minutes of your time. Because if you're on Chatting from the Word, we, don't, we do not want you to waste your time or waste your listening pleasure. So we want to give you something to listening to. And we have a beautiful program outlined just for you this morning. First of all, you heard an introductory song, which was sung by Wayne Williams. Uh, in the few would be our prayer time. Our prayer time would be in the few. And of course, Radiance Acapella would be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. Then our scripture text, if you have a copy of God's Word, and if you want to read along with us, you are welcome to do that. And we are coming from Psalms, the 55th Division. That is Psalms, the 55th Division. And then the, the, the song that we selected for this morning would be the LWCC Music Ministry. And they're going to be singing something back. The name of Jesus. And my friend, it is definitely something about the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And then the chat, then the chat, we still chatting. <laughs> we really are. And we love chatting with you this morning. And of course, we're coming from the first letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. And we're coming from chapter 8, verses 7 through 13. That'd be chapter 8, verses 7 through 13. And again, we're going to be talking about idols. And, and uh, is it right or wrong to eat things pertaining to idols or the sacrifice to idols? Or do we should have idol worshiping today? We, I believe we're going to hit on that. To. I don't know yet, <laughs> because I'm just chatting with you, but we're going to uh, try to dive into idol worshiping. What is it all about? We've been talking about idol worshiping all this time, but here in this chapter, Paul, he, he goes to the conscience of it. You hear, you hear me? He, go, he, talked to, he talked to those who, who really believe in eating of... Uh, 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 eating of uh, 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 sacrifice uh, food that sacrificed to idols uh, and, and destroying your brother's bad conscience, especially if he's, if he's a weak brother. And what should we do that are strong in the faith? What should we do? And that's the question we're going to answer in our chat this morning. So, my friends, stay tuned to the chat. Keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. And my friend, that was your snapshot of the program today. Now, my friend, are you ready to get on this train? The gospel exposure is here. The gospel exposure. 
I'm at the end of the ground, but I'm so afraid Line up, line up, and have your tickets out. And if you mind up with your tickets out, get on board, get on board. All is on board. <laughs> Ooh, yeah.
Amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to Chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on any page that you listen to the program through, or you can put it on our Facebook page, and I should be able to receive your prayer request. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'll be just so delighted and so blessed to do uh, just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can put you can use those avenues we have just uh, just uh, mentioned. And always, we want to keep in your prayers those that have been requesting for prayers, those that are having difficult time at this time. And those are going through some, some strong, strong storms and tribulations. We all go through them. So just pray for them. We need to just pray for everyone that's going through something. And of course, you all the uh, parents who love their children, uh, children love their mother and mother and father. We want to pray for the Uvalde, Texas community. And also, we want to pray for Russia and Ukraine. A situation. We want to pray that that all ends there. And also, we want you to keep in prayer so those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, keep your brother here in your prayers too, Brother Oscar. Keep me in your prayers, please. And pray for me as I pray for you. My friend, if you have a copy of God's Word, and if you want to read along with us during our prayer time reading, we're coming from, uh, as we just stated, Psalms, the 55th Division. That is Psalms, the 55th Division. And here, the psalmist penned these words. He says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself, from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, but then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness to lie. I mean, from time to time, we all feel that way. We just can just get away from it all. And be in the place of rest. Please be in the place of safety. I'm here to tell you this morning. Being in Jesus Christ is that place. Of rest. Of safety. And of comfort. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace this morning? So that we can have a little talk with the Father. Let's have a little talk with the Father. At this time. Are you ready to have a little talk with the Father? Let's talk with him. Our Father, who sits high and looks low, our Father, who is almighty, omnipresent, all about mercy and love, Father. Thank you so much. Oh, Father, we come to you at this time with thanksgiving in our hearts. 
Oh, Father, we thank you for watching over us on last evening as we slept on Sunday. Father, we thank you for waking us up today that none of us have never seen you before, but giving all of us on this side, time, side of life, a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance to walk closer and closer with you. And Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And Father, we especially thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven to down to this cruel world in which we live to show us how to love, to show us how to uh, to the type of people we should be and to connect with you. Oh, Father, 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 we thank you, Father, for allowing him to die on the cross, become his sin, who knew no sin, so that our sins may be washed and taken his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you so much, so much for that. And Father, we pray for you all the texts and we pray that you come for those families that love you instead. Father, we pray for the Ukraine and Russia situation. We pray, Father, that Mr. Putin learn to love and stop all the innocent killings and the bombing of properties. Oh, Father, 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 we come to him, Father, for the world in which we live in, Father. We recognize that the world stands a far distance from you, but Father, we request that you all of us Christians and shine our light in hope that someone may come out of this terrible world and come to your son. Oh, Father, we come praying for this pandemic, which seems like we are still in. We pray for those who have contracted this coronavirus, not just once, but twice. And Father, we pray that you heal them by raise their body from their bed of sickness so they may live for you. Oh, Father, 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 we come praying for those that lost love them. We pray, Father, that you comfort them. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for the police officers who had to take a life. Father, we pray that it was justified. And if justified, Father, we pray for each officer who had to take a life. Oh, Father, we pray for our political leaders at this time. Though divided, Father, we pray that they never make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws for all to live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come pray for the church once again. Father, we pray that we as a whole can be a light to the world, leading others to Jesus. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with their troubles. We be that you help them go through their troubles, that you help them with all their doubts and fears. Father, cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea that they won't be surfaced anymore. And Father, we come praying for this program, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep chatting about the Word and from the Word. And Father, help us with the lesson today. And hope that we may say something to help someone that's struggling with their Christianity. Oh, Father, 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 we come always, Father, praying for those that are going through some troubled time, praying for those, Father, that's having some hard time, praying for those that try to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, as always, keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us, and as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, all right. We'll be right back with the second half after these messages. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is our second half. I hope you can hear me grunting. I'm trying to get my 
my my my throat clear. It seems like something is in it, and it's keeping me from talking. <laughs> I hope I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Just pray for just pray for Brother Oscar. I'll be all right. But we want to welcome you to our second half. We're so glad that you kept your ears on, and we hope that you're enjoying the program to this uh, so far to this uh, point here. And you know how we begin our second half off? We begin by asking for a donation. If you can give your contribution today, that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we hope that you can start off with $5 now. Help us out here at Chatting from the Word in the Morning to keep this fine program going and going. And if you're wondering where to send your proceeds, we do have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com. And put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that is Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And you also can go to Zelle, Z E L L E. Again, put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that is Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And we hope that you can do that today. And we will, and we appreciate that if you can. And we want to thank you in advance for your generosity. Amen and amen. My friend, do you like us? We hope that you like us. Well, on our speaker platform, it is a place where you can put your like. But if you love us, do you love us? If you do, be our next follower on our speaker platform. And we're also coming live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube at this very moment. And if you listen to us through our YouTube a station, give us a thumbs up. Let us know how you like us. But if you love us, be our next subscriber on our YouTube station and hit the notification bell so they may notify you each time we are bringing on an episode. And we also are tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. And if you listen to us through our Twitter uh, station, we want to appreciate you too for doing that. But leave us a comment or two and let us know what you think about the program. And we also tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr live this morning. And if you listen to us through our Tumblr station, hey, let us know how we're doing on our Tumblr station. Uh, leave us a comment. Right now, our Facebook page live isn't up yet, but we're going to get it there one day. We're going to get it there one day. But my friend, you do not need to wait until we share the program with you because we're on many of the internet networks. We're on Podvine, that's P-O-D-V-I-N-E, on Podium.com, Audrey, Music Download, VFC, Lay, Joseph Allen, Chrome Wellview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Alexa, uh, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, uh, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addict, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire that right click, visit your Google Play or App Store and download the Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have downloaded, do us a favor. Look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that you will not miss not one episode we are bringing on. Amen and a amen. Hey, 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 hey. 
What is happening? What is everyone listening to? What are you listening to? What are you listening to? Listening to? Chatting from the Word. And I am his host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap. Crackle and pop in your Christian world. Hey, hey, we are going to to do that snap. Amen, amen. And now time has arrived for us to play our own selection for the program. We love this group and we love the song. And that is LWCC Music Ministry. Something about the name of Jesus. And my family is definitely talking about this person. And here they are.
Amen. Amen. I love that. I really do. The LWCC, a music ministry. Something about the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, the Bible says, Every tongue shall confess, and every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus, Satan quivers and shake all over with fear. Something about his name, the name of Jesus. Thank you, WCC, for the rendition of that beautiful, beautiful song. Amen and amen. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? <laughs> we'll be right back with the chat after these messages. All right, you heard the bell. Time for us to chat with you this morning. And as I've said many a times, this is one of the best part of the program for me is when I chat with you about the Word of God. And we hope that these chats is, is helpful to you. Uh, we really do in your walk with Jesus Christ, with your daily Connection with the Father and with the Son and with the Holy Ghost. We hope that uh, these chats that we've been having help you in your Christian growth, especially if you're on your journey to go to heaven. And you all who have not started your journey, we hope that we had said something to trigger something in your conscience to say, I'm ready to obey to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm ready to be a part of the body of Christ. We hope that uh, we have said something to help you or to motivate you to want to really be in Jesus Christ this morning. But I'd be amiss if I don't say this. Here on Chatting for the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't preach. But what we do, we chat about the Word of God. We don't want to talk under you or over you, but we want to chat with you. We want to uh, reason with you when it comes to the Word of God. And I believe anybody can be reasoned with it. If a dog, if you can tell a dog to roll over, it rolls over because you reason with it. Or you told it how to roll over. We're human beings. We have our minds should be more acceptable to the gospel than a dog. <laughs> Oscar can say that. So what we want to do this morning, as always, we want to reason with you when it comes to the word of God. And the only thing brother, brother Oscar can do is to tell you what's in God's word. I don't add to it, nor do I take away from it. And if you've been with us long enough, you know, brother, I come from the Bible, the Word of God itself. I don't change it, nor do I add to it. I come from His Word. And we hope that you can have faith in His Word and be in obedience to His Word. Oh, we ain't talking about being perfect. I want to just knock that way of thinking out there. At your mind, ain't nobody's perfect. We all have faults. And we can't down nobody. What we should be doing, we should be helping one another to learn Christ in a more perfect way instead of cutting us off from each other. Don't cut a brother off because of some things he might be caught up in. Talk with him. Reason with him. See what his problem is if you can help him, but do it in a loving and kind way. Our, some of our problems is when we see a brother or a sister that has a problem or call them into something they should not be in, the problem we have, we go back and we talk about it. Oh, brother, so and so, he's he doing this. Oh, sister, so so she doing that. Oh, did you see that sister? I'm here to tell you, my friend, we all have problems. None of us are perfect, and we are all saved by the grace of God. Once you, 
recognize the body of Christ and get in this family. Don't make us what 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 make us perfect is the grace of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is the one that makes us perfect. Because well, I'm not perfect. But when when God sees me, he don't sees me. But he sees the blood of Jesus hiding me and continuously washing away my sins. Amen, amen. We want to, of course, talk to you about idols. And this is what we're going to talk to you about this morning because I believe in the first letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the uh, to the Corinthian church. Here he's talking in chapter 8, verse 7, he dive deeper into idol idolatry, uh, if I could use that term. What I'm talking about is idols, okay? And he goes deep. So turn with me. We want to read, read it for a little while and, and see how Paul is navigating uh, this idol this idol, okay? Paul says in verse 7, How be it, there is not in every man that knowledge. He mentioned the knowledge. For some with conscience are the idol unto, unto this hour eat it as a thing offered unto an idol. And their conscience being weak is defiled. And here Paul used the word defiled. And, and verse 8 said, But me commended us not, or me commended us not to God. For neither, if we eat, are we the better? Neither, if we eat not, are we the worse? But take heed, lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see uh, thee which has now sit at meat in the idol's temple, shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which is offered to idols? And through thy knowledge, shall the weak brother perish for whom Christ died. But when ye sin so against the brethren, you wound their weak conscience. Ye sin against Christ. Wherefore is meek is meek make my brother to offend. I will eat no flesh while the world standeth. Least I make my brother to offend. Here Paul is talking about how a brother believes uh, uh, who, who's eating meat that's offered to idols and another brother sees it, you know, sees it. And it's the weak brother that's eating meat believing that he's eating meat to an idol. Paul says this, and I think we read this the other day in Romans. I believe it's Romans. Let me see here, y'all. Romans. Uh, Romans. Uh, Romans 14, I believe. I could be wrong. I hope not. <laughs> but Paul says this in Romans 14, uh, verses 1 and 3. Paul says these words. Uh, here he's talking about a weak brother. And he's talking about when a brother is weak. And I want you all to pay attention to Paul's words here. In Romans 14, verses 1 to 3, I believe. And here Paul said, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not in not to despise doubtful disputation. For one believer that he may eat all things, another who is weak eat herbs. Let not him that eateth despise, despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. And I believe we went over this before. 
And here Paul says, of course, uh, we should not despise him that eateth and him that eateth not. Let me read it again so we can get more, uh, be clarified on it. You know, like I said, I'm even going by his word here. And Paul says, let not him that eateth despise, despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, but God hath received him. And going back to 1 Corinthians 8, uh, it's, yeah, 8, Paul says, let me read it again to you because we want to, to make sure we we're getting it right here. And Paul says, verse 8 again, but meat commendeth us not to God, for neither if we eat are we the better, neither if we eat not are we the worse. In other words, since and how can I put this? Since Christ had died, Christ was the sacrificial lamb that was sacrificed. And since Christ was sacrificed on that cross, we have no more idol worshiping. We don't worship idols today that were back in the Old Testament that Israel needed something to look at to see God. See, by, it's by faith now that we see God. It's by faith now that we believe. It's by faith now that we understand the principles of God. Oh, you'll get it pretty soon. You get it. And Hebrew, we're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna let Hebrew be the last scripture uh, that we look at because time is not allowing us to really. I uh, studied too much this morning, but Hebrews 10 and the verse begin, let's begin with verse 8. And here, the Hebrew writer penned these words. Hebrews 10, beginning with verse 8. It said, above, when he says sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for sin, I would have not, neither had his pleasure therein, which are offered by the Lord. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He take away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Once, once and for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering all the time the same sacrifice which can never take away sin. Going back to the Old Testament, talking about priests of the Old Testament that would offer up sacrifice for the sins of the people, which never could take away sin. See, only Jesus Christ, the sacrificial lamb, took away our sins. Okay? So we don't have no more sacri eating sac things that are sacrificed to idols anymore. We can eat anything as long as we give prayer. All the sudden things might not be good for us, but it's not a sin to eat it. And my friend, what what do we do in that situation where a brother truly believes that is uh that if he does if he eat these meats and still offer into his idol worship, what should we do as Christians that know better? We should teach them. And continue on teaching them. And I believe sometimes that's the thing that's lacking the brotherhood today. Is teaching, teaching, and more teaching. All right, we're going to get on out of here. We really enjoy bringing you this program. And tomorrow, uh, we'll probably have more time for the lesson because this is a good lesson. It's really talking about idols and how we should be eating things pertaining to idols or worshiping of idols that many of us do do. And we need to, I guess, learn how to pull away from them and see Jesus Christ and see God. And I'm not talking about seeing from a physical eye. I'm talking about seeing from a spiritual eye which takes faith. Amen, amen. Again, we really hope that we said something in the message, in the chat, that you can take away from to make your 
journey on this earth much bearable heading to heaven. Amen, amen. We'll be right back with the closing after these messages. We are back, and we're so glad to be back with you. But we need to get on out of here. It's time. Our time has been for it spent, and it's time for us to get on out of here. We hope that you enjoyed listening to the program on this wonderful, wonderful morning. And as always, we hope that you got something out of the message. We hope that you could add this lesson to your learning, you know, of Jesus Christ to your growth in Jesus Christ, and we hope that uh, we've said something to, to make you think. I very hope uh, that we have done that. And as always, we want to thank those who have listened to us live this morning. We really want to thank you for listening to us live and uh, invite others also uh, to listen to us live. And you all who did not catch us live, of course, you can uh, catch us on many of the event networks we call out in mid show. Download them, pull them up, and look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. Although many of you, I do share the program with you, but when I share the program with you, do me a favor. Share the program with your friends. If they need to know the gospel of Jesus Christ, share them the gospel with them. And if you need to know the gospel of Jesus Christ, hey, listen to this fine program so that you can learn Jesus Christ, so that you can start living for him. Amen. And uh, a amen. And as always, as always, it's been my pleasure and my happiness to bring you this program which is enabling you to have that all-important snap, crackle, and crack in your Christian world. Amen. And amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, let be thy name. Thy kingdom be feared, thy will is be done. Father, we thank you for allowing us to bring this program on on Mondays through Fridays to lift up some travelers' load, to help those to find Jesus and to stay in him. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. We pray for them that they have a wonderful, beautiful, and a prosperous day today. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest true and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, love somebody, love everybody, bye-bye, and may God bless.